Tonight, the death of a Baltimore City man while in police custody has triggered an investigation. Trayvon Scott was picked up on a warrant Saturday and then was pronounced dead a few hours later. 11 News I team reporter Barry Sims is live at City Police headquarters in downtown Baltimore with the new details. Barry. Okay, police tell us from their investigation, which is still in its beginning stages, nothing shows use of force or any kind of struggle involving Trayvon Scott and officers. They also do not think that medical attention was delayed. We ain't do nothing, man. They calling the police. Come on, us. you got your time. Come on. About to pay the wagon out here. What you gonna throw us away like trash too? Tense moments in Northeast Baltimore as police investigate the in custody death of a 30 year old man. Trayvon Scott died Saturday. Police are saying a pre existing medical condition led to his death. His family, friends, and some witnesses think the officers involved could have done more to save his life. All I had to do was take my son to the um, hospital and get on medical treatment for just an asthma attack. Now, an asthma attack that they ignore caused death. Police say they were looking for Scott because of a warrant accusing him of attempted murder back in June 2010. They found him in the 4700 block of York Road. Witnesses say as officers approached, Scott ran. Police say they searched the area. Scott was found hiding under a deck behind a house. Lakeisha Woods says when she saw him, he was struggling to breathe. I was telling the police officer, I was like, please call the ambulance because he got asthma real bad. He need a medic. Scott was taken to the Northern District Police Station and placed in a holding cell. Police say a short time later, officers noticed he was in distress. According to investigators, so far they have found no evidence of a struggle or use of force. I want to know exactly when we made contact with the individual out in the street, when the individual was brought to the station, when the officer first noticed the medical distress, when we made the call, and when the paramedics responded. And police tell us that the exact cause of death has not yet been released by the medical examiner. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.